Hi you guys, so this is kind of a different video today. I, okay, so I need to tell you guys a little story, kind of like to break it down how this video is going to go down. Although, the title will probably already tell you what's going on and this might seem redundant, but here we go anyways, I'm just going to tell you. So, my gra my biological grandma has been trying to contact me for a while now, and I'm feeling really bad about not doing it, but the truth is, is that I haven't told her that I'm transgender yet, and I am kind of scared to talk to her about it and tell her about it because like if you've been following me for since I've started you would know that my family is very religious and kind of close-minded about that stuff so it's kind of hard to come out for people like us with more religious families like I'm not saying that if you're religious you're automatically closed-minded but like my family was really closed-minded about it and so I have a feeling that my grandma will probably be the same but I'm hoping for the best but preparing for the worst if you know what I mean like I hope, I hope, I hope I'm wrong, but a lot of the time, I'm not. So, basically this video is going to be her reaction to me coming out to her. And I know you may, some of you may think that that's wrong to record, but I feel like it's kind of necessary to show you guys how hard it is to come out to some people and to show you the reaction to how people react to my coming out. Like, I feel like that's really necessary. So, and I don't, I'm not sure if she's gonna answer even, so if she doesn't answer this time, I'm just going to cut the video and then try again tomorrow. So we'll see. Fingers crossed, though. Hello? Hi, is this Grandma Shirley? Hi, do you know who this is? Oh, you mean to tell me it's Kyler? Yeah. Well, good, 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 good. I've been wondering about you and hoping to hear from you. So, I want to know how things are going and, and uh, how your job is and, and if you're happy and if everything turned out the way that you were hoping it would. Okay, so I hope I didn't call you too late. No, it's okay. You weren't going to bed or anything? No. Nope. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. So, answer my question. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um I am happy. And my job is going well. At Walmart? Yeah, I'm still working at Walmart. Oh, that's so good. That's just great. And I do really love my job. Oh, good. That is good news. And? And I'm, I don't know, I'm just really happy. Yeah, it is. Oh, good. Did you get your little kitten yet? 
Not yet. I have to I have to move to my new apartment before I can do that. My, my friend does that. He has a car? Yeah, he does. And he takes you to work, huh? He does. Well, that's great. My goodness, that's really convenient. So do you have an address so I can send you your birthday greeting and card and money? Yeah, let me give it to you. Well... I don't have a mailing box yet, uh -huh. so I'll have to get back to you on that. Okay. You don't just have a house address where you get mail? Well, I do, but like the apartment place doesn't have mailboxes, so we're just going to have to go to the post office and get one set up. Oh, I see. Okay. So we haven't got that set up yet. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. Damn. That's just great. What's the weather like down there? It was raining. Oh, good. I bet they can you really use rain down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the desert. They can always use rain. In fact, I can hear the thunder and lightning outside right now. It's going to start raining, I hope. We really... Oh, you get some more rain. So, um, sounds like everything is just going well for you, and I'm so happy about that. That's just wonderful. Yeah. Grandma Shirley? Mm-hmm. I have something to tell you. Okay. So... Okay, so this isn't easy for me to tell you. Uh-huh. But I think the easiest way for you to understand uh -huh. is kind of giving it a timeline and kind of telling you in a, kind of like in a storyline uh -huh. sort of way. So, ever since, like, I was a kid... Like, uh -huh. I knew that I was different, uh -huh. and I knew that I wasn't like the other kids, uh -huh. and I knew, and I always, like, thought that there was something almost, like, wrong with me, uh -huh. and as I grew up, I wasn't sure what that was. And honestly, like, it was really, like, when I was a teenager, it was just eating me up, and it was, it was really, like, hurting my confidence, and it was making me really sad and depressed. Uh -huh. And... I I don't think I well actually I think I told you once that I was gay. Uh-huh. But that's really that's really how I thought for a little while. Uh-huh. But the truth is is that I I have always wanted to be a girl, uh -huh. and that's what I'm doing, is becoming a girl. Oh, really? How do you do that? Well, right now I'm on hormone replacement therapy, uh -huh. and that's where... You take pills, uh 
or you get shots to uh-huh. replace your hormones with uh-huh. with the opposite hormone. Yeah. Uh-huh. And honestly, like, I've never been happier. Oh, well, that's good. Like, I feel like I'm finally, like, in the right skin. Uh-huh. And I, I finally, like... Like, I feel like I'm not lying to myself anymore. Uh-huh. And that I don't feel like there's something wrong with me anymore. Uh-huh. Because I'm doing what's, what I feel is my, my truth uh-huh. and what I believe in. Well, in the beginning, like, there were signs everywhere. Uh Like, when I was younger, I hated getting my hair cut. Uh And there were also moments, like, when I would try and get into Kira's clothes. Uh But... I would quickly be changed back into my clothes. Uh-huh. And then when I was a teenager, I would secretly buy makeup uh-huh. and I would put it on and I would just feel so happy. Uh-huh. But I wouldn't know why at first. And There were also moments where I would dress up for, like, Halloween and stuff and for videos as girls, and it would just... I would feel so comfortable and feel so happy doing it. I see. And then... It seemed more more natural for you, huh? It did. And then I joined a club called GSA Uh when I was a senior in high school. And the, and the initials for that actually stand for Gay Straight Alliance. I see. And they explained to me what transgender is. Uh-huh. And that's when you switch from one gender to the other. Uh-huh. And it all just seemed to click for me. I see. And it really just, like, explained to me how I really felt. Yeah. That's basically how it sums it up. Mm-hmm. I see. Well, that, that's interesting. I thought ever having had an experience like that, it's something that someone would have to explain to me in order to be able to relate to it. But it sounds like it feels right for you, and if it makes you happy, and you feel more secure and more content, then there has to, there's a lot to say for that. Because it's awful to feel uncomfortable and misplaced and like you're not the real you and <clears throat> and you're just struggling to find out where you do fit, where you do belong and who you really are, I'm sure. <clears throat> so what about your friend? understand all that yeah and that's the main reason why he wanted me to come here was because I kept on getting hate for it in Utah yeah right 
because a lot of people down there just don't understand. Yeah, in fact, a lot of people just call me she, like it's just a natural thing. Uh-huh. Are you going to change your name at all? That's undecided. Like, mm-hmm. for sure, like I want to change my middle name because my middle name is very masculine. Yeah. But I don't know about my first name. Yeah, your first name could be either one, actually. I've grown very attached to it. (laughs) Yes, I love your name. Your name sounds like you would fit. Right. And that's the reason why I've been calling you. It's just, I just felt like I was lying to you and that I just felt really uncomfortable whenever I was talking to you because I felt like I wasn't being honest with you. Mm -hmm. Like it was a charade, huh? Yeah. I accept you however you choose to be because I love you either either way or irregardless. I because of my beliefs it concerns me because I think it has eternal implications but it has nothing to do with my love for you or my acceptance of you. What what you feel is what you have to do and what is best for you. I choose to accept that because uh, I want you to be happy. It's awful to be miserable and to feel misplaced and to feel like you don't fit and you don't you don't belong and you don't and you're being judged and criticized and and ostracized. That's an awful way to have to live. So if you can find a way that seems to bring you. Um, more comfort and peace and and uh, you feel like you say like you're in the right skin and that's a choice I guess that I can understand that you would want to make. Thank you. Like so you don't ever have to feel uncomfortable or like I'm judging you or not accepting you or not loving you or I'm not happy for you because that's what I want, would like for everyone is to be happy and to, be, to feel like they're living their lives the way that they choose and that uh, seems right for them. That means a lot to me. is to be bullied or made fun of or ostracized or criticized or any of those negative things. It's uh, it's not right and it's not good and it's not Christ-like and, and uh, I think we just get to accept people um, with what they think is for their best good and hopefully for everyone concerned. 